Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. Some of you may know I love super glue. This stuff is uh, absolutely fantastic. Now, back in July of 2016, I believe it was, I wrote an article entitled Super Glue, Everything You Need to Know and Some Things You Don't. Now, I'll, I'll put a link to that article uh, up here and down in the description. Uh, you should probably check that out if you are also a fan of super glue. It has all kinds of interesting information, including the history of super glue and uses and blah blah blah. But uh, the reason I wanted to make this video is because I said something in that article that is not quite correct, as I have discovered recently. So what I wrote in that article was that you never want to buy a large container of super glue because the cap will get all gummed up and you'll end up having to throw away most of the super glue. So uh, I said it's pointless to buy a large container. You should buy these little teeny tiny containers of super glue. It turns out that's actually dead wrong. <laughs> so, right. Now, as you know, with these little containers of super glue, uh, it comes with this cap, and of course you can unscrew the cap, and these, these little teeny spout cap thingies, they don't stay clean. Um, this is like very basic, and of course you screw this little guy on, that opens the tube of super glue, and then you use it and you put the cap back on and one trick to stop these things from hardening inside because the cap will harden you know, eventually the, the the end cap will harden and you won't be able to twist it off eventually the entire thing will become glued onto the body of the tube and your only option is to use a pair of scissors and snip it and like goosh it out and uh, basically you typically waste about two-thirds of one of these tubes of super glue and the reason for that is that super glue hardens through a process of polymerization that involves humidity, uh, water, basically humidity in the air. So the minute you open one of these and use it, humidity gets in, you put the cap back on, and as I said, these little teeny caps are pretty crap. For most people, two-thirds of this is just basically going in the trash. On the other hand, you have bottles of super glue like this. Uh, these are much fancier. They have this super duper really high-tech looking cap and it seals quite well and of course this is in a bottle so whereas with these you might toss this in a drawer and if it gets put upside down you're in trouble because all the glue is going to be sitting down at this end and it'll get all gummed up so you have to kind of balance it like in a drawer or something upright and that helps extend the life of these guys but not by much with this you've got a freestanding bottle you just set it down somewhere like that the glue's in the bottom the air is in the top uh, as long as you clean this little thingy off, oops, it's gooshing, I'm in trouble now, and then close it, you'll be fine. So, in any case, what I did recently is I bought some of these and some of these. And I did a little experiment to discover which one was actually cheaper in the long run. Now, this is 20 grams of super glue, and these are one gram of super glue, but they come three in a pack. So, um, the euro price for these in France is this is woo this is uh slippery and it's 13 euros and 23 cents for 20 grams and these little guys three of these so three grams total are four euros and 35 cents okay so I did my test and uh what I found was that this guy the cap will come Get, become all gummed up and eventually the the screw-on part will get the whole thing will be basically useless uh, when I've used about 75 percent of the glue and that's being very careful so that means for this guy I can use 75 percent of the glue now if we do the math uh, 20 grams times 75 percent is 15 grams and if you calculate the per gram price you end up with uh, at 13 euros and 23 cents for 20 grams that would make 13.23 divided by 15 grams, which would equal approximately 88 cents per gram for this super glue, right? Okay, well, what about these guys? Well, as I said, you can use usually about uh, a third of these before the whole thing just gets gummed up and you have to throw it away. So of each one gram tube, you're only using a third of a gram. So if you get three tubes in a pack, of that three grams, you're basically only using one full tube, one gram. So at four euros and 35 cents for three grams of this stuff that works out to be 430, 435 divided by one gram equals four euros and 35 cents per gram 
Now you may notice that that means that superglue in these little tiny tubes is approximately five times the cost <laughs> of superglue in these guys. Which means, um, yeah, if you get one of these larger ones, uh, 20 grams, you still may not be able to use all of it, but it's way the heck cheaper. Uh, the trick is, of course, that, you know, when you open this up and, you know, you're, you're gluing stuff, when you put it back upright, take a cloth, wipe off any excess real quick, then screw it back on, and it's going to last a lot longer. And, of course, keep it upright on a shelf or something. Don't lay it down in a drawer. And there you go. This will cost you five times less money. So, yeah, the reason why they like to sell super glue in these little teeny tiny things is not because it's convenient, but because um, obviously the container and the cheap cap and the little kind of metalish tube here, that's obviously all much cheaper than the super glue. And um, I guess they want you to throw away a lot of super glue so that they can sell you more. Okay, now just a couple quick fun notes about super glue. Uh, if you get it all over your hands or something, to clean it off, what you want to use is acetone. Now, uh, acetone will dissolve even dried super glue, so if you get your two fingers stuck together, because of course your, your body is, is a, a large proportion of water, super glue needs water to harden, so it's very easy to glue your body parts together. Fortunately, with a little bit of acetone, even if it's dried, you just put the acetone on your fingers, you kind of work it in, it'll feel very, very cold when it hits your skin, and you can just kind of work it, and the, super, the acetone will actually dissolve the super glue and help separate it. If you have dried super glue on your finger, again, just kind of dip it in some acetone, rub it, and uh, it will dissolve and come off. One important thing to note, acetone is basically a degreaser and a degluer and um, it will strip all the moisture from your skin, so when you're done, be sure to wash your hands thoroughly in soap and water, and then use some kind of moisturizer, because it's really, really, really drying. And finally, uh, just a tip about using super glue. Um, super glue is very good. Uh, when you glue two things together with super glue, it has a very high tensile strength. Now, that is kind of a pulling apart motion, so if I take these two ginormous bolts and I put some super glue here and I put them like this and I try to I hang something on it in this direction it's going to be super super strong right but in a twisting direction or a shearing direction uh, it's not going to be very strong so what that means is if you have a bolt and a nut you can either put some super glue on the threads and twist this guy on or twist it on and then put some super glue like this, and you will basically turn a normal uh, nut into a lock nut. And the reason that it won't permanently bond them together is because when you are rotating the nut, that's actually kind of a, a shearing force, uh, not a pulling force. And so therefore, it will act as a lock nut, but it's not permanently attached. Uh, I use that little trick all the time because then I don't have to buy special lock nuts and it works like a charm. If you want more information about superglue, don't miss my article, Superglue, everything you need to know and some things you don't, because I have all kinds of extra fun information in there. So there you have it. And try not to glue your fingers together. For more Techie Tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.